first session um, is very much to learn about the innovations for agriculture and nature. And there are five stars uh, in this space um, that agriculture or nature is very much their first <clears throat> area of focus. Doesn't mean their innovation can only stay in the space. But today you will be able to listen to like a four of them uh, pitching their um, innovations and please do stay tuned and let them to tell you about their innovation. So the first to start, I will start sharing. Yeah. We have uh, Karen from Gentian. It's going to share about their story, their innovation, how technology and AI can help biodiversity. So Karen, please do uh, share your screen. Hi, my name is Karen Day and I'm the Managing Director of Gentian. We have a passion for sustainability and biodiversity, and this has led us to develop a new way to carry out ecological surveys remotely and with no need to go on site. The state of the art in ecological surveys today is still a person with a clipboard and a metre square. This leads to a number of pain points around accessibility, lack of detail, inaccuracies and inconsistent approaches, all of which means increased effort and cost and more significantly, increased exposure to risk for those using the information. There's also a lack of skilled resource in this area. Our solution takes advantage of the falling cost of commercially available imagery, and we train algorithms using the latest machine learning technology to recognise vegetation based on standard methodologies like the UK biodiversity metric. The process is automated and the reports are produced in standard formats that are easy to read and easy to use. There's a market pull for ecological surveys driven by new regulatory frameworks which set targets for the next 30 years. Our sales predictions in the UK for green roof surveys alone are 5 million a year, and this increases to 66 million for habitat surveys, and this is a developing market. We have an early sales pipeline. Our team combines skills in key areas around machine learning, biodiversity, satellite tech and operational support. Each of our team has an impressive background and brings a wealth of experience and a network of contacts that we're able to leverage. So we have the tech, the team, the traction and the timing. And now we need working capital to scale up our activity. We have a route to market strategy and a product roadmap, and we're looking to raise a million to extend our runway out to 2024. As a software as a service business, the capital will be used to stabilise and consolidate our team and add in a sales dimension. For further information, please contact me. My address is on the slides. Thank you very much. And thank you for really like squeezing the presentation in two minutes. Right. So now after we listen to Karen, um, I'm going to invite our next founder, uh, Rebecca. So Rebecca um, is going to share about their innovation from Smarters. And Rebecca, I remember you are going to share with uh, also the recorded vi uh, video. So please do remember to click share songs as well. Okay. Hello. Yes, I, I'm going to be showing a pre-recorded video. So um, I hope you find it of interest. Hello and welcome to Farm Smarter. Smallholders in developing regions often have little mechanisation or irrigation. They eke out a living, but they're fiercely proud of their farms. The 600 million small holdings on our planet are custodians of over 40% of farmland in developing regions, but their potential to positively impact climate change and food security is massively under underestimated. Smallholders like Obi here struggle to maximise their yields. So we developed the Farm Smarter app to make climate smart farming information accessible to all. Farmers can map their fields, get instant crop disease diagnosis and the climate smart information they need to optimise their farm, all at the click of a button. They can also link up to access finance and logistics, so there's real strength in their numbers. Our users are grouped in clusters of local farms to give them bargaining power. And we have thousands of farmers waiting to join our already established farmer community. 
A smallholder could increase their annual yield by 20% using our disease ID tool and resources. FarmSmarter puts everything a smallholder needs for success in an accessible environment. We're helping farmers become sustainably productive, breaking down barriers between smallholders and the marketplace. Governments and commercial partners are supporting us in the UK, Africa, South America and Indonesia to achieve our big idea, empowering smallholder farmers globally via today's mobile technology. Our core team won a sought-after Innovate UK Agritech grant to develop our prototype using over 60 years to combined Agritech experience. So FarmSmart is what you call a winning combination. Do contact us to find out more about how to join our FarmSmarter journey. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you very much for listening. Right, so our next one um, will be Sushma uh, the Planet, but she is uh, stuck in the traffic, which means I am going to share the pre-recorded uh, video from her with you. So please do uh, bear with me while I'm doing this. So. And it's easy to tell people what to do and when it's my own terms, it doesn't seem that easy to find whatever I need to share. So the, um, now I'm feeling very nervous. Oof. Right, I am going to uh, share my whole screen and please do bear with me. I will be very quickly. Right, could um, anyone tell me that you can see my screen. I'm going to play this pitch. Hi, I'm Sushma, co-founder of The Planet, and we're building the world's most impactful climate tech platforms. And we're starting with the wine industry. We're working with some of the world's largest companies and saving them millions of dollars in production. And we're doing this at a global scale with AI, satellite data, and research that's come out of our team, coming out from the University of Oxford. Four years ago, we started talking to a large winemaker about how the data wasn't helping them improve production or reduce costs. And they were doing all this with spreadsheets. And then there was one emergency. Of the $450 billion wine industry, which is the second largest agricultural market in the world, $90 billion was being lost annually due to extreme weather events such as heat and frost. And this is just getting worse rapidly, with 80% of the world's vineyards to be lost in the next 30 years and making it unviable for growers and producers unless they adopt new methods. We've developed our SaaS product, Wine Signal, which uses satellite imagery, machine learning, and one of the biggest data sets that does not exist anywhere else in the world. Our large high-value customers are already saving over $50 per ton of grapes produced, and those focused on quality are seeing an improvement by up to $20 per bottle of wine. Other value adds are monitoring for irrigation, disease, hail and frost impact, as well as baselining and monitoring for carbon capture. Natalia, Dave, and I came together at Oxford, bringing together our industry experience from defense, telecommunications, and oil and gas, and decided to provide our expertise for the benefit of the planet. We're joined by Matt as head of sales with over 20 years of wine industry experience, along with the global team of 19 people who are passionate about making an impact. In summary, we're providing the wine industry the ability to adapt and thrive in the face of climate change. It's a huge opportunity and a large market and a real traction of over 500K in revenue along with 60 customers that we're very excited about. Our ask is for introductions to winemakers and producers. And if you'd like to participate in our seat round, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Great. So I will stop sharing. In case, right? Who doesn't like wine, doesn't it? Right. And now there is uh, innovation there that can help uh, the wine industry to do better. So it's a wonderful innovation um, for the agriculture sector. And we believe that can be not only applying for wine as well as later on for other different crops. 
the next one, um, we are going to invite uh, Polly uh, from Allo Modules to present their innovation. So Molly, Polly, if you are live, please do um, turn on camera and start to share your screen. Great. All right, thanks, Carla. You see my screen? Yes. Oh, okay. Great. Hi, everyone. Um, um, I'm, my name is Holly. I'm founder of Alamundis. So our mission, actually, it is, it's, not, it's not actually work. Okay, there you go. Our mission is to connect quality urban forestry projects with corporations that want to invest in local projects with positive social and biodiversity impact. So urban forestry, which are our street trees, parks, and, and woodlands, are so critical to us fight, fighting climate change in our uh, local communities and cities. Uh, we've seen the unprecedented uh, heat wave last week um, in the UK. So with the street trees alone can actually reduce the surface temperature by 12 degrees Celsius and the bank of sweet trees can actually reduce it by 20 degrees Celsius. And not only do they um, bring down the heat but they have other benefits like biodiversity net gain, flood water reduction and pollution reduction. So. In terms of these initiatives, so local authorities have declared climate emergencies in the UK, and they are kicking off these projects. What there's there's lack of funding um, from from their perspective, and the corporates who are actually looking to invest in local initiatives um, can cannot find quality local projects to invest. So this is where work we come in. So. We are actually connecting these two, two parties together um, with our in-house um, urban forestry experts. We actually help design and Im implement um, these projects um, with local authorities using our technology. We make it very simple and efficient for corporations to actually invest in these initiatives. And we actually uh, provide monitoring service and reporting service to report on the environmental and social benefits that these projects provide. So our software is very actually um, effective and efficient. We um, look at the portfolio approach of these um, urban forestry projects around the UK. So the organizations can actually invest in, um, in locations where their employees and their, their customers live. And we believe the scale is important. We believe that urgency is important. Um, so the time to act is now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Polly, for sharing with us. The time to act is definitely now.